Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make your own soundboard for PC and Mac. And honestly, it's super easy. You don't need any coding for this. We'll be using a tool that basically works as a soundboard and it's completely free to use. You might've heard the name VB Audio Cable before, but if not, don't worry. I'll guide you through everything step-by-step step, like a proper beginner tutorial. So let's get started. First of all, download it according to your setup. I'm on PC, so I'll download the Windows version. If you're on Mac, you can grab the Mac version. Once the download is done, just extract the tool and install the version you're using. For 64-bit users, right-click on the setup file and run it as administrator. Otherwise, it won't work properly. After a few moments, you'll see a pop-up saying your installation was successful. That's it. Now it's time to configure it. Note, after installing VB Cable, make sure your output device hasn't switched automatically to VB Cable, because if it has, you won't hear any sound from your PC. When VB Cable installs, it sometimes takes over your main output. I'm using headphones, so I'll just set my output back to my headphones. All right, now let's talk about how to actually use VB Cable. Whether you're using it for calling, Discord, or even in games, it works for all of them. Let's say I have a few prank sounds or short audio clips I want to play through my mic. Basically anything you want others to hear. Now what basically happens is, whatever we play using VLC, people will hear that instead of your actual microphone input. So first, let's configure VLC Media Player for this setup. Open your VLC, go to Tools, and then Preferences. Inside this window, go into the Audio section, then look for the Device option. From the drop-down menu, choose Cable Input. Basically, whatever we play in VLC, the audio will now be transmitted into the VB Cable Input. Now open Discord, go to Voice and Video Settings, and in the Input Device section, select VB Cable Output. So what happens here is VLC sends the audio into the cable input, and Discord picks it up from the VB Cable Output, just like it's coming from your mic. You'll notice when I play a song in VLC, it starts monitoring. And when I stop it, the monitoring stops too. That's how you know it's working. Now the same method applies to your browser as well. For that, you'll need to install an extension called Audio Pick or Audio Splitter. Both work fine. After installing, just play any music or video in Chrome and set the output of that tab using the extension. This way, it works just like VLC. It sends your browser's audio into the cable input, and then VB cable output can be used as your mic input. Whether you're using it for Discord, games, or even for calls, the process stays the same. And that's a quick and simple tutorial for you guys. If there's anything you didn't understand, just drop a comment and I'll help you out there. Till then, take care of yourself and your family. This is Austin, signing off.